Well, Disney may be able to change their release schedule, but it's now or nothing for us. Let's moo it! From the studio that brought you the We Are Siamese song. We are Siamese, if you please. Donald Duck's unfortunate World War II adventures. Japanese customs say, always shooting a man in the back, please. And an Asian cat playing piano with chopsticks. Shanghai, Hong Kong, and Fu Young. <laughs> Comes their stab at a Chinese folktale about gender roles. <laughs> now, that's what I call Mongolian barbecue. Uh-oh. Mulan. Before you see Disney's first actually justifiable live-action remake, someday, revisit the first time the mouse gave this story the Disney treatment by smushing hundreds of years of unrelated Chinese history together, jamming awkward 90 CG into beautiful 2D animation, and cutting between a grim war story and the fast-talking hijinks of a G-rated Eddie Murphy. What's your name? I, uh, 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 Chu. Ah, Chu. Cause I'm at. <laughs> I killed myself. <laughs> that was funny. Now back to the death. How many men does it take to deliver a message? One. Meet Mulan. She's got the classic pretty princess problem where she knows there's more to life than this. But where most princesses think they need a man, Mulan will cut out the middleman. And instead, she'll just be a man. And while she's more inclined to hug the patriarchy than smash it, she will kill a lot more dudes with snow than Elsa ever dreamed of. Holy crap, this girl's got a body count that could fill the Matterhorn. But Mulan isn't alone in her fight against the Huns. An evil race complete with fangs, claws, yellow beady eyes, and good lord Disney, these were an actual people, not the Urukai. She'll be joined by Mushu, a tiny dragon workshopping his donkey audition. Hey, dragon, dragon, dragon! And a supporting cast that's also challenging stereotypes. A gentle giant, a cricket who doesn't wear hats or sing, and a Chinese guy who sounds just like Harvey Firestein. I am worth my time. Hey, in the 90s, this was what progress looked like. At least he's not playing piano with the chopstick. Fortune cookie always wrong. Don't show it again. But this kid's flick isn't all war and wieners. <laughs> it's also about love. Wrap your arms around the nearest pole and fall for Li Shang, the handsome captain with the body of an Adonis and the vocal chops of a Donny Osmond. Out of you. He's a little pink curious, a little Mulan furious, and very, very shirtless, creating a passionate fan base that demands an answer to just one thing. You have my trust. Why does Lee have nipples when Aladdin doesn't? A little nip consistency is all we're asking for here. At least make them an option on Disney+. Plus. So suit up for a Disney movie that, much like its heroes, has struggled with its identity because it was too American for Chinese audiences, too conservative for Lee Shang fans, and way too liberal for Vice President Mike Pence. But it still found its place in the Disney pantheon thanks to its bold heroine, charming comedy, and a few memorable songs like the stereotypically Chinese song. Hear those strings, hear the flute. Isn't ancient Chinese culture cute? Voice directors and white voice cast too. They'll get most of this time wrong. The glorified chant masquerading as a song song. That the music's what most Disney fans find charming. Sound like a song. Cartoon. Give us more than four. The No Time to Explain, but Mulan can fight now song. The second act is starting, and Mulan's still weak. Cue the training montage, and go take a leak. By the time you're through, she'll be a dude who can fight like Rob. That's what songs like this one are good for. And the not so subtle coming out song. Parents get coded gay. First you look at us, but then when it looks gay, you will get some.
starring Mulana Man. Dracarus is my name. I like the way you work it. No, Gemini. Shang Sings. In 1992, Chen Yu was an advertising executive in Baltimore, Maryland. Then, for reasons known only to him, he left his wife and career and moved deep into the forest. Now, he is only known as the Falconer. And, realizing you got Mulan to thank for Rick and Morty's worst fans. In honor of Disney's new movie, Mulan, McDonald's is offering tender, crispy chicken McNuggets and a new Szechuan sauce for a taste of the East. Big Trouble in Actual China. Stop cheering! You're gonna get bits of hun in your mouth! I did not have tasty relations with that burger. I'm saying something original and epic in my epic voice. Oh no, everything's going according to plan. I met death today. We played chess. Help, I'm the one that actually writes these things, and they take all the- 